Hi, today we're going to learn about the inverse of a one-to-one -one function, and this is under college algebra slash pre-cal. So, before we get started, um, I'm just going to go over the rules of finding the inverse. So, so the steps to finding the inverse of a one-to-one -one function is, the first step is replace f of x by y. Second step is to interchange the x and y, and then the third step is to solve the equation for y, and then finally, you replace y by f, in, f by f of inverse of x. So, finding the inverse of a one-to-one one, one -to -one function isn't too hard. You're just gotta follow those steps. So the first problem says find the inverse of each function, and we are given f of x equals three of x three x minus seven. So the first step is to replace f of x by y, so you write it down. So the first step, so we, where it's in, there's an f of x, you just put in y, so that should be y equals 3x minus 7. Good. Now the second step is to interchange x and y. So where you see the y, it's go, it's no longer to be, going to be a y, it's going to be an x, and wherever you see an x, it's going to be a y. So that's what interchanging, interchanging means. So it's x equals 3y minus 7. And then the third step is to solve the equation and solve for y. So we got to solve for y. So let me rewrite it again. So x equals 3y minus 7. And then just solve for y, so I'm going to add 7 to both sides. So you have x plus 7 equals 3y. And then I'm going to divide everything by 3. So y equals x plus 7 over 3. And then the fourth step is where you see y, you just replace it with an f in inverse. So you could say um, y equals f of inverse of x, and then it's this whole thing, x plus 7 over 3. Or you, you could have just left it. You didn't have to put the y equals. You could just say f of inverse of x equals x plus 7 over 3. So this is your final answer. So yeah, it's not too hard, you just got to follow the four steps. So yeah, the first step was to replace the f of x with y. The second step is to interchange the x and y's. Third step, solve for y. And then we're, um, replace the y with f of inverse. And that's really, that's really it. We'll do some more. So the, let's do another one. So let's say we are given f of x equals 2 plus square root x minus 3, right? Okay, so let's do the first step. The first step is to replace the y, replace the f of x with y, so it's y equals 2 plus square root x minus 3. Good. The second step is to interchange the x and y. So wherever there's a y, there's going to be an x, and wherever there's an x, there's going to be y. 2 plus square root y minus 3. Third step is to solve for y. So let me rewrite this. Let me rewrite it as this, x equals 2 plus, instead of, I'm going to, um, instead of the square root, I'm going to say plus y minus 3 raised to the 1 half because um, x to the 1 half is the same thing as square root of x. Okay, now let's solve for y, so I'm going to subtract this 2. So you get x minus 2 equals y minus 3, raise it to the 1 half power. Okay, so 
let's get rid of this this one half power. How do we get rid of it? We're gonna um raise both sides by the power of two. And this becomes a one because whenever you raise when you raise an exponent, you're um really multiplying, right? So um an example would be so x to the one half raised to the second power is just x to the first power because whenever you're raising something you multiply the exponent so one half times two is one so that's how you get one so this cancels and you just get with y minus three and then this is just x minus two raised to the one half i mean second power and then i'm going to add three to both sides so you get x minus 2 square plus 3 equals y, right? And then the final step is wherever you see y, you replace it with the f of inverse of x. So you could say f of inverse of x equals x minus 2 square plus three. That's your final answer. Good. So let's do another one. Let's say you're given f of x equals negative x minus nine. So the first step is replace the f of x with y, so y equals negative x minus nine. Second step is to um, switch the x and y, so this will be an x and that this will be a y. So x equals negative y minus nine. Third step is to solve for y, so let me just rewrite it again. I'm going to add 9 to both sides. So you get x plus 9 equals negative y. And then I'm going to get rid of this negative by dividing everything by negative 1. So when you're this negative 1 is for everything, so that's going to be a negative x. Negative 9 equals y. And then the last step is wherever there was a y, you just replace it with f of inverse. So f of inverse of x equals negative x minus 9. Let's do a rational equation. So let's say you're given f of x equals x plus 3 over x minus 5 and this is a rational equation so our first step is um so I'll make it to where there's an f of x equal set that to y so f of x equals y so y equals x plus 3 over x minus 5. Second step switch the x and y so wherever there's a y you replace it with an x and wherever there's an x you replace it with y so this is x equals y plus 3 divided by y minus 5. okay so third step is solve for y so let me rewrite it again x equals y plus 3 over y minus 5. So we got to solve for y, so let's get rid of this y minus 5, the denominator, and by we're going to get rid of that by multiplying both sides by y minus 5. So you're left with x times y minus 5 equals y plus 3. And then if you FOIL this, 
me put it here, you get x, y minus 5x equals y plus 3. Okay, so let's look here, x, y minus 5x. Let's, let's get all the y's on one side and all the x's on one side. I mean, let's get, let's move all the y's to one side. So we have an x, y minus 5x equals y plus 3. So let's move this y right here to the left. And then let's move this negative 5x to the right. So how I do this is I'm going to subtract y from both sides. And then I'm going to get rid of this negative 5x by plusing 5x to both sides. So this cancels, that cancels. So on the left side, you're left with x, y, minus y equals 3 plus 5x, or 5x plus 3. It's the same thing. Now, on the left side, we have a x, y, and negative y. Let, what can we factor out? We could factor out a y. So we have an, so y times x minus 1 because x times y is xy, and then y times negative 1 is negative y, equals 5x plus 3. So we want to solve for y, so let's get rid of, let's get rid of this x minus 1 by dividing both sides by x minus 1. So you get y equals 5x plus 3 over x minus 1. Good. And then the final step is just replace the y with f of inverse. f of inverse of x equals 5x plus 3 over x minus 1. Yep, there's your final answer. Okay, a um, few more, and then we're done. So let's do this one. Actually, two more, that's it. So we have f of x equals negative 1 over x. So first step, set this into y, f of x. So y equals negative 1 over x. Second step, switch the x and y. So wherever there's a y, you just replace that with x. So this is x equals negative 1 over y. Third step, solve for y. So I have to rewrite it again. And then how I'm going to solve this is, see this x, there's an invisible 1 here. And then I'm just going to cross multiply. I'm sure there's an you could like there's another way, but I like this way. So cross multiply. So x times y is x y equals. So I multiplied x with y, and then one times negative one is negative one. And then solve for y. So let's get rid of this x by dividing both sides by x. So you're left with y equals negative. 1 over x. Good. And then the fourth last step is set that, that y into f of inverse equals negative 1 over x. And then the final one. Actually, two more, sorry. So let's say you're, we are given f of x equals the cube root x minus 9 plus 5. And that 5 isn't inside the radicand. So first step is set this f of x into y, so y equals cube root x 
minus 9 plus 5. Second step is switch the x and y, so we have x equals cube root, and where this is going to be a y. Third step is is um, solve for y, so let me rewrite this, so I'm going to say x equals, see this y, we can rewrite it as y minus 9 raised it to the one third power right because x to the one third is equivalent to saying cube root of x and then plus five so we we'll, first step as to solve for y i'm going to subtract five so i'm going to subtract five from both sides so you get x minus five equals y minus nine all raised to the one-third power. Now we want to solve for y, so let's get rid of this one-third, so we're going to raise everything, both sides, to the third power, right? Because let's say x to the one-third raised to the third power, um, it just gives you x, because you're multiplying the exponent, so one-third times three is just x to the one. So this will be just y minus nine, and then this thing, we're gonna raise this both side, raise this by the one by three powers, so it's gonna be x minus five raised to the third power. And then let's solve for y, so I'm gonna add nine to both sides. So I'm gonna this is gonna be x minus five to the third power, raised to the third power, plus nine equals y. And then the last step is, where is this y? Just replace it with f of inverse. f of inverse, so f of inverse of x equals x minus five raised to the third power plus nine. Yep, that's your final answer. Yeah, so it's not, these aren't too hard. Okay, the last one, I promise. So let's say you're given f of x equals x minus two square, whoops, for x is greater or equal to two. So first step is replace this f of x with y, so y equals x minus 2 square. Second step is switch the x and y's, so x equals y minus 2 square. Third step is solve for, solve for y. So this square, how do we get rid of this square? I can either raise everything to the one half or I could take the square root of both sides. They're the same thing, right? Because remember x to the one half? I mean, x square and then if I raise that to the one half, that gives you x and taking the square root x squared is the same thing as x, right? So I could either, yeah, I, I, I'll just take the square root of both sides. So you get square root of x equals y minus two. And then last step is to add two both sides. So you get square root of x plus two equals y. And then the final step is replace that y with ff inverse. So f of inverse of x equals square root of x plus 2. And yep, that's your final answer.
Yep, that's that's the end for this section.